discuss the contraction of muscle cells. The excitation transmission of neurovascular junction and the sliding theory and excitation contraction coupling, this stays main content. According to structure, muscles can be classified into dry teeth muscle, include skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. According to innervation, can be classified voluntary muscle, skeletal muscle, involuntary muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. And according to functions, can be classified skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. The first one, skeletal muscle in the middle, cardiac muscle, and uh, the below one, the smooth muscle. Let's focus on the contractions of skeletal muscles. The conduction of action potential over motor nerve fibers and the transmission of excitement as the neuromuscular junction and the conduction of action potential over skeletal muscle cells, that means local current, and the transmission of excitement as the neuromuscular junction, and uh, the mild filaments of skeletal muscle contract. Now let's start with excitation transmission of neuromuscular junction. The concept of neuromuscular junction it's a synaptic connection between motor neuron and the skeletal muscles. The anatomy includes projection membrane, that means neural cell membrane. The structure includes vesicles, acetylcholine excretion, a voltage gated calcium channels and the junction cleft and post-junction membrane, membrane, muscular cell membrane. It has acetylcholine receptor and acetylcholine esterase. This is an image of a uh, motor neuron and the muscle fiber and the neuromuscular junction. The process of excitation transmission include we start from the uh, action potential, uh, means depolarization, the accent, axon end, voltage gated calcium channel caused calcium ion inward flow, acetylcholine quantum release, a small amount of ACH and SH diffusion to the end plate. The SH combined with SH receptor and the permeability increased to uh, sodium and potassium channels. That means the chemical gated channel. The end of plate potential got electronic propagation so caused the voltage gate gated sodium channel open and the muscle membrane construct the action potential. That's the whole process. Let's start from the pre-junction process. The axle end, the voltage gated calcium channel opened and the calcium ions flow inward and then acetylcholine release very also very small amount through the exocytosis is diffused to the end plate uh, that in the uh, post-junction process the ACH binding is receptor the post-junction membrane permeability increased sodium and potassium. The sodium ions flow into post-junction membrane. The chemical gated channel opened. The end plate potential caused a local potential. So 
then the voltage-gated channel opened the action potential for the muscle membrane. After that, the inactivation acetylcholine is a very important process. By the choline esterase clears acetylcholine, and then electro, uh, chemical electrotransmission fulfilled. The characteristic of excitation transmission in the neuromuscular junction include it's a, a single direction. The ratio for neurofiber and uh, muscular uh, cells is one to one. Prejunction membrane release ACH only. Normally, the number of channels opened is sufficient to depolarize, reach to threshold potential, and to produce an action potential. It has a very short delay. That means 0.5 to 1 millisecond. It's very, very short. And the process are influenced by the environmental factor and the medicine. The blockage of ACH release include both learner's toxin and uh, also the calcium, the decrease of the calcium uh, concentration. The blockage of SH receptor channel include the turbocarinin and etc. The inhibition of acetylcholine esterase include neostigmine and uh, physostigmine. And also some disease can affect the neuromuscular conjunction. The myosensia gravis is a kind of destruction of SH receptor channels. So that's all content for today's class. Thank you for your attention. Thank you all.